Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Simply Cinnamon, and if you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to talk to you just briefly about my decision to have lip injections done. I'm having the procedure done tomorrow morning on Thursday, the 26th of October, and the reason I'm having them done is because I'm just unhappy with my lips. Um, I have really tried to do like self stuff at home, like self-help kind of thing. Um, I started derma rolling in July and um, with the idea to try and like help build collagen around my mouth and I have a photo here it's on my phone but um, this was my lips in July and you can see them now but it's easier if I show a photo also and this is my lips at the end of September So as you can see, it really has made a significant um, difference in the finer lines around my mouth and here, but the deep inset wrinkles that have come from years of smoking, um, they're not going anywhere. I have already had a consultation um, with a nurse that does the injections and her and I were both in agreement that I could derma roll from now until the end of time. And these really deep wrinkles that kind of cut into my top lip they're not going to go anywhere and just as you can see my top lip is kind of non-existent it kind of just falls down here so the idea is to just plump them up and you know give me a top lip and help eliminate some of these wrinkles around the top of my mouth this is not to have big duck lips or look like a kylie jenner or anything like that it's just something about my appearance that i just don't like and i can fix and i'm going to so everybody's entitled to their opinion and some people may agree with me and not agree with me and that's okay. That's why there's different flavors of, of the rainbow out there because everybody is their own person and they're going to make their own choices. And for me, this is a choice that I've made for myself. Now I am not doing this for my husband. I'm not doing this for anybody else but me. So that's the reason I have decided to do lip injections. So I'll talk to you a minute about two different kinds of injection that you can have done. Um, there's Restylin, which is popular on the market, and there's Juvederm. I have decided to go with Juvederm because it has 35% more cross-link hyaluronic acid than Restylane does, and the results last longer. Um, the results last about nine months to a year, um, so it's not a permanent thing. Um, I'm do having one syringe done now it is on the expensive side and I have saved up for months and months for, and months to have this done. Um, it's $650 per syringe. Now I'm only having one syringe done and it, like I said, it lasts anywhere from nine months to a year. So, you know, next year in, let's say, you know, August or July, if I'm feeling like, you know, they're going down a little bit and it's something that I like and I know it's I'm going to do it again I'll save up the money again and have it done again it's my personal decision to have this done for myself so that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about that was one of the things and I wanted to also talk to you about um, two other procedures that I have already had done and my experiences with that now, the first procedure that I have had done, and these are all with the same doctor, uh, his name is Dr. George Zavitanos. He's in Fort Washington, Pennsylvania. Um, the very first one that I had done was a tummy tuck. I had that about 17 years ago. Uh, the reason I had a tummy tuck done is I used to weigh close to 250 pounds, and it took me two years, but I lost 110 pounds. I got down to 140 pounds and uh, down to a size four. And uh, because I had already had children and I weighed so much and lost so much weight, uh, I had extra folds of skin all around my midsection that they, I could do crunches till the day I die. And that excess skin is, would just not go anywhere. It just like literally would like fold like right around here. So... I did some research. I made my first appointment with Dr. Zavitanos, discussed with him, you know, 
the the folds of skin and what I could do and he suggested having a tummy tucked on I saw many 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 before and after photos and I felt so very comfortable with him that I said I will be back I need a year to save up the money but I will be back and that's exactly what I did because health insurance because it's a, considered a cosmetic procedure would not cover it I saved up for a year I had it scheduled for right around my birthday and um, because I knew I was going to get income tax money back and whatever I could not, whatever I did not save, I used the rest of my income tax money for because the procedure was about $5,000. And I'm going to stand up for one quick second. And so that was 17 years ago. And I mean, I have gained some, gained and lost some weight since then but my stomach is still pretty flat. So I was very happy that I made this, the decision to do that. And then the second procedure that I had done with Dr. Zavitanos was I had a breast reduction and a lift. Um, because again, losing and gaining so much weight and I have always been big breasted. Um, I, my, my boobs were, enormous. So this is a picture of me on my wedding day. And hello boobies. They entered the room before me. I was a size 42 G and suffered severe, severe back problems and had deep cuts and indentations in my shoulders from bras. So, um, I did lose some weight prior to the breast reduction surgery to see, you know, maybe if I lose some weight and I really start working out my chest muscles, I can, but they, it was too far gone at that point. So, and here's another photo, my wonderful husband there. Um, as you can see, they literally were spilling out of my wedding dress. Um, and I had a hard time, you know, finding a wedding dress and finding a bra that actually, you know, could accommodate my huge tatas. So, um, I am now a 38 D and, um, actually I, I feel like, you know, I have lost some, some weight in recently in the last probably two or three months and I've been really working my chest area and my back. So I feel like they're even get, getting like even a little like tighter and more lifted. Um, so those are the procedures that I have had done and why I've had them done. So I just wanted to share with you, um, you know, what I'm about to do. And, uh, tomorrow I will film. I'm not going to film while I'm in the room because I want her to be 100% completely focused on me and what she's doing. And I don't want any distractions for myself or for the nurse injector as she's doing it. So, but I will film immediately after I'll have my my husband like take a quick video on what it looks like immediately after and then throughout the day I'll do little snippets um so you can see like how it is now it's going to be swollen clearly for a couple of days and you know then the swelling will go down and you know hopefully you know the results will be exactly what I'm hoping that they will be so thank you so much for watching today. Um, if you have any questions or any comments, you can leave them for me. Um, some people ha may have negative comments. Some people may have po positive, po co positive comments. And whatever you, you decide to say, I can't stop you. Just know that this is not a decision that has been made lightly, that I have thought about it for a long time. And, you know... I say if you can do something to fix yourself that you're not happy with and you have tried and all other aspects to make a difference and, you know, at the end of the day, a co little cosmetic procedure is what you need done for yourself to look in the mirror and say, you know, I feel amazing on the inside. I feel amazing on the outside, but I don't like this or I don't like that, you know, <laughs> Who is anybody to judge you what you wanted to what you want to do? So with that being said, you know, leave me comments if you if you so choose to. Try not to be mean, okay? Um, but thank you so much for watching. 
I'm sending you light. I'm sending you love. Be blessed. I will check you out at some point tomorrow. And thanks for watching. Bye.